Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Juicy Game Corner, where you can get all your daily vitamins. Um, today I'm going to be playing a, not a really well-known game. Um, it's called Super Ghouls and Ghosts. It, it's kind of a sequel slash remake of a Nintendo game called Ghosts and Goblins. The star of this game is a knight named Arthur, who's about 28 years old. If you don't know him, you might have seen him in, um... In the new Marvel vs. Capcom 3 game, he's one of the playable fighters in that game. Um, the storyline of this game is the the princess gets kidnapped by the devil, so you have to go and rescue her by going into the demon world. And um, and you know, I always wanted to know, like, if you really love someone, would you go and fight demons and stuff, like in um Dante's Inferno or something like that, when they go in hell and they fight like all these impossible creatures just to save the one they love. Would you do it? To be perfectly honest, I don't think I would. Like, <laughs> I would probably just go and find someone else even though that's really messed up. So, this game is really hard. It was it was a game I never actually managed to beat as a child because my mom donated it before I got to um, beat it. The reason that this game is hard is because they make you go through the game twice. And besides that, you die in two hits. And it's stupid because they give you upgrades, which is nice, but the upgrades um, only last for one hit. See? This green armor right here. It makes my um, weapon stronger. I, I really like the dagger because it shoots really fast and it does a good amount of damage. It's one of my favorite weapons. I, though, I went, though I do love is um, the bow and arrow in this game with gold armor. Because with gold armor, it, um, it, can, it can home. <laughs> I love this game too because of the double jump. It's just a hilarious animation. Look at this. Stop. Oh. <laughs> like, what is he hopping off of? This is like impossible. Yeah. So when you have the gold armor, if you charge up and you use it, you get magic powers. The dagger's um, the dagger's sort of ability I don't like. It has a really stupid range. Like, it um, it goes up and then down and then like. It's a really awkward angle to like kill something. In this game, at the end of every level, there are these bosses, and they could be hard as hell sometimes. See, look at that. Now I'm running around in my pantaloons. <laughs> this is so gay. So um, before before I started this, I gave myself um nine lives. Normally in this game, you just start off with eight. But, I mean, normally in this game you start off with three lives, but that's nowhere near enough because once you get a game over, you kind of have to start all over. And, um, I do not want to do that at all. And, um, I am on an emulator, but I'm not using save states or anything. So, uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, I mess up. I'm kind of, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able to do this again. You know, if you, if you've never played this game, you should. I mean, if you like, um, if you like, if you like challenging games like the Meg like the original Mega Man series and stuff, you would love this game, you know, because Capcom, Capcom, they are dicks, they do make really hard games, but they're fun once you get good at them, and then you can always brag to your friends like, oh, I could beat this game, and you can't. Ugh. Crap! And I'm dead. And that's what's fair about this game. Look, see? They make you start all the way at the beginning again. What kind of bullshit is that? Nope, I don't want the land. Wait, I'll take it. I like... The Lancer is not as good as the Dagger. The Dagger shoots much faster. The Lancer is kind of a slow version, but I don't remember what the I don't remember what the superpower of it is. So, you know, I want to see it. You know, honestly, this kind of crap, like, I would probably crap myself. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Um, <laughs> the reason I was yelling is because that is a douchebag of a character. He um he turns you into a baby or a woman. <laughs> And this game is so sexist when you're a woman, you, you're running around with your skirt, 
and you know, kind of like <laughs> you're helpless, and I have like really loser loser music going on, and you know, it's just funny. Ah, God, damn it! Ah, <laughs> I get all oh, these coyotes. So as you can see, that's the map, and I have yet to beat the first level. So as you could probably expect, I am probably not gonna make it through this game. The fire bottle, yes. This thing is so pro. Though it is kind of hard to use sometimes because some bad guys are in the air and stuff. So it makes it really dangerous to use. This game... This game, if you don't... Like when you first play it, it'll probably butt rape you. If you want even more of a challenge, you should play the original for the NES. Where you had only um, like three types of weapons and the game was just extremely difficult for no reason. Yes! I love this power. Shield! I'm not even gonna bother with these characters. They can screw themselves. God damn it! Oh, I picked up the arrow. It's, it's, it's weird, because if you look at it, you see the arrow, but you don't see the bow. So I wonder, like... I wonder, is it like, um, a, like a crossbow or something? Does it, like, shoot automatically? Oh my god. Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna make it through the first level. Definitely. This is, this is go time. This, this is where I pull on my panties! And I get going! The thing about this game is, uh, the enemies are unlimited. They never stop coming. Ever. Especially these, um, these whatchamacallits. These, um, zombies. They never stop coming. So, basically, if you don't keep moving, you're eventually just gonna get hit and die. So, this is kind of a run, run and gun kind of game, like Contra. But at the same time, you can't, you can't run constantly, because then you'll get, you'll get killed by some stupid bad guy that's hiding or something. Ah, uh, ha ha, suck it. I love the arrow. The bow and arrow. The third power-up is stupid. All it does is, um, find you, like, hidden treasure chests. But it takes so long to charge up that it's not really worth it. Crap, 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 not again. Yes. Alright. You gotta take this slow and steady. Alright. Coyote, suck it. Coyote, suck it. Those gold bags of money give you a lot of points, but... <laughs> like, there, there really is no point to points unless you want to brag. But, I mean, if you can beat this game in general, you should be able to brag, because this game is, is difficult as hell. And this is just the first level, and as you see, I suck. I used to be such a good gamer, and, um... But, you know, I used to play games every day, and then, you know, school and crap started taking up more time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my Jesus. Alright. Ah! Alright guys. I don't want to keep you too long. I'm going to make it up to the water part and then I'll let you go. You know, um, tell me if you want to see me play this game more, even though you probably are going to troll me because I'm doing so bad. Um, I would say, shut up. Because this game is really difficult. So don't try to me. Alright? If you could beat the game, I give you props though. Because this game is difficult. And if you could beat it without cheating. If you're using save states or something. Like. You, you can go F yourself. Because that's not really how gamers play. Yeah. God damn it. There was no way I could have avoided that. Yep. And with that, I shall leave you guys. And you can tell me how bad I am. Leave any hate in the comments. Give me any suggestions for games you might want to see. And until next time... <laughs>